Hi friends, another week, another video. Today, we are going to look at the Conklin All-American Demo. It's a special edition. Um, I know last week we reviewed uh, this one, the Monteverde MVP, the pocket pen. Uh, but now it's time for a Conklin pen. They're both under Yaffa brands, um, but different, um, different styles. And again, this one was sent to me by Conklin slash Yaffa. So thank you so much to the team. Uh, I'm having so much fun reviewing these. So let's take a look at this. Uh, first of all, I don't think, so that one didn't have a gift box or deluxe box, but this is one of my favorite um, aspects or things about Conklin. I think only Conklin has the, no, Monteverde also has like these green, um, presentation boxes and they're really good i love the detail the stitching it feels nice like if you want to gift a pen, a nice pen to a friend these would be fantastic so yeah i love them and you don't have to throw them away right so alrighty, righty let's take a look i know what you're thinking it's orange yes <laughs> it's an orange pen but it is so beautiful. It's so bright, so cheerful. Um, I couldn't say no to this color. And let's see what else comes in here so that we can put this away. So filling instructions, and then this must be like a warranty card or just like a general information card. Okay, and then this is, wait, direct filling and fountain pen. And the direct filling Huh, I think this, okay, yeah, there, this is why I was confused a little because I think on the, okay, no, even here on the box, it says eyedropper. So apparently this pen can also be eyedroppered. Um, and eyedroppered converter or cartridge. So let's take a look. Uh, let's see what else comes in here. So, okay. Here's one of these little guys. I must have missed it the first time I opened it, honestly. It's probably because it was like, I don't know, it's clear. And that's probably a blue and a black um, cartridge, so that's great. I think I want to do another eyedropper. Why not? Okay, let me just put this away for now. I'm trying to be as tidy as possible. Uh, and now let's look at this pen. So, just the details really quick. You can see the um, the logo engraved. Yeah, like probably laser etched. The Conklin Mark Toledo, Ohio All American Special Edition. Uh, and then the clip also has a name. Now, one thing that kind of bothers me is that one is. Well, depending on how you're looking at it, um, one is right side up and the other one's upside down, right? Um, personally, since I'm right-handed, I would think this is the right side up and this is upside down, right? But... I don't know it's okay and it's not just on on this pen there must be like a reason or decision why that was done so i have this other um all-american but this is in their um oof i forget the exact name but it's their rainbow coat this is much heavier than this because i think this the material is brass i think yeah it's so it's much heavier um but not like cumbersome but it looks really sharp. And again, it's got the same engraving. Now this is also, is that, this is a limited edition, uh, but this is a special edition. So yeah, I'm gonna put this up. And I've already used this one and it was pretty pleasant. So if you're looking for a nice different pen, I would recommend the rainbow edition. It's pretty cool. So yeah, this has black uh, trim and even the nib is black, which is pretty interesting. Very Halloween type of thing, you know? 
and it's got i was reading the description of uh on the conklin website it's got the crescent um what do you call that like breathing hole and then on the side you get what the pen is which i think is a fine oh no it's a broad sorry i don't know if you can see. yeah it's a broad that's a b so that's pretty neat um and so you saw the eyedropper tool you saw the cartridges and here's a converter do i want to keep that and i think let me see let me see let me see i think the converter is threaded yes and i i noticed that because my other one i had i just put it uh, together really quick and i had to thread the converter so that's pretty neat it keeps it in place it's not going anywhere i have a few pens that the converter not not from yaffa brands but from like small makers um it like sometimes if i drop the pen and the converter comes comes loose uh, but it's not a huge problem just have to be careful but yeah you thread the converter and oops you put it together it's pretty neat i love the color i think in the demo uh, versions of this pen there is also a blue there's also an all clear with silver trim and i believe there is a rose gold edition which looks really really sharp um i didn't look at the price but i'll see if i can put it in the comments or the a little thing right here for you um it looks nice i'm really i'm really happy with this pen and the weight is nice sorry i keep capping it <laughs> i'm capping it i just don't know what to do with it uh so yeah and i have selected uh this nice little sample of uh, monteverde birthday cake that my friend clarissa from the snowy studio sent me i think two years ago two or three years ago uh yeah it must have been like two years ago um for it was when i received a yellow pen i believe and i was wanting to contrast my pen so she sent me monteverde no it was actually when i got a purple pen it was the estabrook lavender and she sent me a few samples and this was one of them and i think i only swatched it in my subame cards and i haven't actually used it uh so i think to contrast the pen um i want to fill it with birthday cake now i don't know if i should do eyedropper or converter i think just to go ahead and use up more ink and try to use up my samples i may end up doing a eyedropper fill so um let me see if I can record it. If not, I do apologize. And I'm gonna try to like just pour it in here because why not, right? Like it's not like a lot of ink. Okay, I may record it and see <laughs> how it goes. And I'm just gonna flip to an old page so that I'm not like concerned about spoiling a new page. Um, we could do it over here. Okay, I'm not gonna talk. <laughs> I should probably use the eyedropper tool. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Let me do that because I don't wanna be messy. It's just all these little things. I should probably put these under the pillow if they fit. Oh, uh, that's why. Oh, yeah, they fit. So, okay, let's do that. Perfect, yeah. Because otherwise they keep falling and get annoyed okay and I have some paper towels over here so I can save the day and let me get this guy really quick because I'm scared of like spilling and I still haven't located my other it's not fitting in here really well oh there you go I haven't located my other sample holder but i also haven't looked for it <laughs> so it's got to be somewhere perfect it's a nice little fill uh, 
I may as well just like fill it all the way, well, as much as possible, because I think this is a lot of ink. Let's see how much ink is left. Oh, I think I finished the sample. Did I? Yeah, perfect. This is a great way to use your, your samples. And that way, you know, your pen's already full of ink. Um, so you just, just use it. Use it all up until it's like gone. There we go. Our pen is loaded. And let me cap it for a few seconds. Let me just, um, let me let it do its thing. And I will be right back. Okay, friends, I am back. Um, I let it sit for a few seconds. I did have to shake it around a little bit because the only downside to eyedroppering a pen is that you can't force ink to the feed as you would with a converter, like uh, turning the, the thingy, um, the piston thing up and down so that you can flood the feed. But it didn't take too long, so... Here, let's put a little cap aside and let's just do a little, quick little writing just to compare, not compare, but like just to see the ink and the pen. I do like how the dark ink uh, makes the engraving just stand out a little bit more, you know? Okay, friends, that was very pleasant. It's interesting in the beginning, um, the the ink was pretty dark, but I think that can happen. That can happen with all of, all of your pens. Um, over here, I tried to put some more pressure on the nib, kind of like I did last time, and it does also have a little bit of a bounce, so it did give me a little bit more of a line variation. And this was pretty much like just. Um, pushing and pulling the pen, maybe not pushing the the pen onto the paper, but just dragging it up and down. And this was just a little bit more pressure. And as you can see, it's a broad nib, so it's a nice line. And yeah, I love it with the orange color of the pen. Now I'm going to do a longer um, writing session in my Apuntes notebook, uh, just because that's what I have been doing. <laughs> So why not, right? But yeah, overall, a great pen. Um, I told you the price earlier, I believe. I still haven't looked it up right now. Um, but yeah, fantastic pen, fantastic weight. Uh, I love the presentation. Could be a nice gift to yourself or somebody else. And comes in different color options. So great pen. And again, thank you to Yaffa Brands and Conklin for sending me a few pens to test out uh, and have fun with. Alrighty, friends. So I finished doing just a quick um, writing session with my um, All American Demo in the Orange uh, Special Edition. And I do have a few comments. Um, it's probably because I did the eyedropper version, but you can see in two occasions where the ink just goes down a little bit thicker or darker. Um, and it's right here and right here. So I wonder if it's because of that reason. It was just, I think I got to this point 
and I just couldn't, uh, here, let me see. Oops. I got to this point and then it kind of stopped writing. So I had to shake it a little bit and force some ink down into the feed. Uh, and then it was okay. And same thing happened here. Uh, fell out with one another. It stopped working at one, but then it was fine. So anyway, I think it was because I was using it as an eyedropper, which makes sense in a way. Uh, but overall, it's a great pen and fantastic weight. I like how the ink looks in here, just sloshing around. Uh, it's super cool. And again, I love how you can see the text um, because of the ink. So let me know your thoughts, friends. Um, what do you think of this pen and this guy? Um, I didn't talk about this pen, but I do have some pictures on my Instagram um using it it's pretty neat i love the effect i love the colors uh it's so beautiful it's nice and heavy you can probably toss this at somebody and knock them out <laughs> if you ever need to uh not that you should uh, but yeah beautiful pens i love them um so i know i will be using them pretty often in my writing sessions and look i'm like I have a little Monteverde slash Conklin pen thing going on. So anyway, friends, thank you so much for watching another video. I'll catch you guys soon. Bye-bye.